situations. And so Lord, we, we call on you, the God of the breakthrough, into every single situation in your body, the church, that you break through, God, the world around us, communities and cities and families. Lord, that you break through. You break through in children and grandchildren. You break through in situations. And so, Lord, we release that anointing here on earth. The anointing that breaks the yokes. The anointing that breaks the chains. The anointing that breaks the heaviness. Now, in Jesus' name. You are the way maker. We declare it. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We decree and declare it today. That heaven's frequency would be vibrating here on earth and cause us to align with heaven. Breakthroughs would come. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we're thankful that you send your warring angels. Even now, Lord, send high-ranking warring angels. On our behalf, Lord, bring breakthroughs. Small breakthroughs, great breakthroughs, individual breakthroughs, and corporate breakthroughs. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for that anointing that breaks through now. Holy, 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 Jesus. See the way I don't see it, you're working. Even when yes, I don't Lord. feel it, you're working. Come on. Oh, you're bringing the breakthrough. Yeah. You're bringing the breakthrough, yes, Jesus. Come on, come on. destinies for us individually and for us corporately and so Lord we're grateful that you've already made a way and a plan for us and so Lord where the enemies put up all kinds of roadblocks we ask God now that you destroy the works of the evil one wherever the enemy has been putting a, a hold on the plans and purposes of your kingdom being established Lord we demolish the works of the evil one today in Jesus name we destroy the works of the evil one for this purpose was the son of God manifest to destroy the works of the evil one Jesus we thank you that you already destroyed it on the cross you annihilated the plans of the evil one and so Lord we declare your breakthrough that your power would be released the power of the Holy Spirit would be released Breakthrough, Holy Spirit. Even now, God, breakthrough in, in individual lives, in marriages, in children, grandchildren. Breakthrough. Power of your spirit now. 
Come on. Shakaraba shanere, sotra ba shakaraba. Come on. Great I am.
again release the roar of the lion of the tribe of Judah. Release that roar. Roar over us. Roar over your church. So, Lord, we push back the, the enemy. The enemy, the sound of the roar of the lion of the tribe of Judah. Roar against the enemy's strategies to steal, kill, and destroy. Even now, God, break off chains and break off the things that hold. Hallelujah. your roar release life and life abundant God as you roar at your church may it come back to life in full abundant life in Jesus name may you roar at us Lord and break off the things of the enemy may you roar at us and cause us to propel into the life and life abundant that you have for us Lord hallelujah hallelujah Lord, we thank you that you're breaking through. That the line of the tribe of Judah is breaking it through. It's breaking through the barriers, breaking the chains. And so, Lord, release the roar now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you that your roar. We just see it almost like it's such a fierce roar. And Those things to just sit you 
was like, he was just shaking the tree clean of all the clutter and all the stuff and all the excess and all the indulgence and all the things that we are decorated and put on ourselves and our lives and our ministry and families. And he was just stripping away some things. He was stripping away some things. It's like he was saying this new year especially that we had shifted into sort of like this clean slate. Like he was getting rid of all the extras, all the other things. It was almost like we were being streamlined in a way. It was causing us to streamline, almost to retreat and to get rid of all the extras. And he was pruning the tree. He was pruning the tree and getting rid of all the ornaments and all the things that we had delighted ourselves with and all the accomplishments, all of the accomplishments and all the things done in our lives and he's saying it's time to strip it clean because I'm starting new, I'm starting fresh and it's time to get rid of those things, those things that we put our pride in and our joy in and there's nothing wrong with accomplishments and being proud of the things that you know we can legitimately be proud of, I'm not saying that, it wasn't in a negative way but all the things that we've just focused too much attention on and he's saying it's time to start fresh, it's time to start new shaking the tree and all those things are just falling to the ground. All the things that can't be shaken were being shaken. All the all the accomplishments of man, all the things that were done and made of our own hands, they were being shaken and they were falling off the tree. And only the things of the Lord, only the things that were built on the solid rock of Jesus Christ were remaining. And it was from that place, it was from that, that foundation of Jesus that we were beginning to rebuild. It was like all the things were shaken, but they were not only shaken, but they were shaken right off and fell to the ground. And it was a time of rebuilding. A time of rebuilding on a new foundation, a new surface. And leaning into the Lord for strategies and for the not only for ministries, but also for our lives and our families. And it was actually a strengthening. It was like those things were actually causing a weakening, and he was causing us almost to retreat and to almost inwardly reflect and to come to understand those things in our lives that were actually weakening us instead of strengthening us. Actually causing us to be spread thin. It's like when a tree is pruned. And it's a hard time being fruitful when all those excess flowers and plants begin to grow and it doesn't allow the fruit to begin to ripen and grow. So we need to be pruned so that we can be strengthened and so that we can fruitful. And so I just feel this invitation of Lord to just give him our yes, to allow him to strip us, to prune us. To even cause us to have to rebuild in some in some ways, in some areas of our lives.
And so there may be things that we need to surrender. There may be things that we need to allow to strip in our lives so that we can be strengthened, so that we can rebuild in this season for the new era that we have transitioned into. The new era that is upon not just our own personal lives and nation, but the nations of the earth. adore you. We again surrender. Say, here we are, Lord. Reposition us into all that you have for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name today. Thank you, God, for your hearing our worship, our prayer. Thank you for answering from heaven again today. Thank you that your kingdom is come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Release it. Release your, uh, give us this day our daily bread. Release that manna from heaven, your presence in Jesus' name. Forgive us our sins as we used to forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Lord, even now, release your healing virtue, spirit, soul, body, healing now in Jesus' name. Each person that tunes in today, release that healing and freedom, touch from heaven now in Jesus' name. Release the virtue, the anointing to flow, power. Release the power of you, Holy Spirit. Power of the Spirit now. Power of the Spirit now, release it. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We love you, Jesus. We love your presence. Thank you for your grace, your mercy around us. Release that wall of fire around each one of us. Release your mercy in our midst. Your grace in our midst, Lord. Your presence goes with us. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen. Thank you for tuning in with us, worshiping the Lord. We'd love to hear from you. love to hear what the Lord is saying and doing and uh, how we can be praying for you. We will uh, see you next time. God bless you.